Y'all see how huge that thing is? That thing is huge. <laughs> what Trump say? Huge. That thing is huge. Huge. <laughs> Why so serious? Err. And stay motivated, stay serious. Again, make sure you hit that like button. I need that like button. I need that like. Help me with this algorithm. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for no money. I'm just asking for this. <laughs> Why so serious? Err. So serious. Uh, let's get it, man. Uh. Lane, Lane. Serious. Lane. Serious. Lane. Serious. <laughs> What's going on, Serious Nation? It's your guy, Serious Mindset, back with a new video. Shout out to you all that's been subscribing, that's been dropping the fire emojis, that's been doing the thumbs up, the likes. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, we go over trucking a little bit of car content. I haven't done a lot, of, a lot of car content because I've been grinding it out in this transportation. Uh, shout out to my veterans. Thank you for serving. Thank you for your service. Shout out to those that are currently serving active duty. Thank you. I'm a veteran as well. All right. So today is cloudy. I know y'all can see the see the clouds uh, in the video. So it is cloudy. I got some, uh, I got cars on the left, right side of me. God, please. That Ford got a big old screen in, you know, those uh, those GT uh, SUV. That's a big old screen in this thing, man. Let me see if I can show you all. Let's see. I think it has a huge screen in there. Huge Tesla screen in there, Ford. It's like those uh, those little Ford SUV deals. Uh, I think it's a, Mu is it a Mustang. Yeah, I think it's their new Mustangs or whatever. So, um, I booked this load with TQL. Don't judge me. I know y'all gonna judge me. Oh, man, I'm boycotting TQL. They're not paying me. But they paying for this load. <laughs> now, the thing about this load is there's a caveat. So, there's seven drops within this load. I know y'all seen that Ford. That Ford, golly, look at this screen. I just cannot... Y'all see that screen? Look at look how huge that screen. That's a huge screen. It's a little blurry. So there's a caveat, like there always is. And um, oh, make sure you stay driven as well. Stay driven. Goals, trucking, car, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this too in this video. I think I might talk about it. Um, but there's a caveat. Seven drops. The appointment for pickup is at 11. Um, I feel like I've been bamboozled even though I looked up the route, but my GPS didn't want to work when I was on the phone. Uh, you know, long story short, the first two drops are like in uh, Bryan, Texas, which is uh, east of Austin. And then I have uh, Brenham. I don't know if you all are familiar with Texas. If y'all familiar with Texas, drop, drop a H-Town. Not an H-Town. No, no, no. Drop a uh, drop a, uh, a a text in the in the in the comment section. But anyway, so I'm going back and forth, and I'm like, okay. I literally deadheaded twice this week. I lost on profit this week um, because I deadheaded from Oklahoma back to Dallas. So. I'm sitting over here thinking like, okay, do I pick up this load, which I have to deal with 45 miles to get the load to go pick it up? 
And then if I come back, I have to then head home, which is another 45 miles, right? So give or take, that's 90 miles already. So when I did head from Oklahoma back to Dallas, that's give or take around 250 miles or something like that. So it's not entirely bad, but it is bad, right? It's deadhead, it's deadhead. There's no categor categor categorizing it. Um, so I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, I pick up at 11. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to load me up because these are, it's, it's furniture. So it's driver assist as well. It's paying, uh, I think it's around, uh, I think it's around, that's the eye booger? I don't know how that happened. So it's paying around, roughly around, I think $2.50 a mile, something like that. Uh, the total miles between all seven drops is around 315 or something like that. So, uh, it's, it's paying decent. Um, not too heavy, but in heavy. So I'm trying to figure this out and I'm like, okay, so that should I just go ahead and drop as much as I can because the latest that I can drop between all these loads is 1800, which is six o'clock. 6 p.m., right? So I'm sitting over going back and forth. Should I get a hotel? I knew he was going to Is he going to go? Oh, I can show y'all this screen. Look at, check out this screen. Y'all see how huge that thing is? That thing is huge. <laughs> what Trump say? Huge. That thing is huge. Huge. <laughs> Why so serious? Err. All right. So the point that I'm making... I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to uh, map out everything in my head because it's seven drops. I know where the first two drops is. The only thing that's gonna hurt me is depending on how long it's gonna take them to load me because it's gonna take around two hours to get to the first drop and then everything is within the radius of maybe like 40 miles, 40, 45 miles. So I'm gonna try to knock out everything, but needless to say, I might end up in a hotel um, and, and I know what y'all say in the hotel. Why don't you just sleep in the truck? I sleep in the truck. Look, let me tell y'all something. The thing about these Hinos is the gear shift is right, is dead smack in the center. I am not sleeping with my leg on one side and the other side while the shift is right there. <laughs> oh, I'm so serious. It's not comfortable. It's, it's just, it's not comfortable. I've done it before. And I'm, I'm not comfortable. I, you know, I do have military injuries or whatnot. Uh, so it makes sleeping in this uh, in this day cab, because essentially this is a day cab, uh, it, makes it, it makes it very difficult. So I just wanted to give y'all that perspective that, um, you know, you have to plan and manipulate how you're going to move around in these loads depending on if it's worth it, right? And again, I'm sitting over here second guessing myself for whatever reason, debating on time. Cause one of the things that I always go by is time, 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 time. Cause time is important to me, right? It's not just the fact that I got in transportation just because I got in transportation. It's the fact that time is important. So trying to maneuver your time, uh, even though I'm within my uh, state to state, you know, uh, Texas to Texas, but understanding the region that I'm in as well. So Austin is, uh, eh, I think every other place outside, Dallas has the, the, the most freight out of Texas. Uh, Dallas Laredo, Dallas Laredo. Um, Austin, San Antonio, Houston uh, for box trucks. Uh, so they're just trying to figure it out. Tomorrow's also Friday as well, so you see, I'm thinking in this video. I'm thinking it's a lot of thinking. See, I'm also serious, but I think heavy on business because those two deadhead segments got me earlier this week, and I was okay with it. And I was like, okay, I can't afford another deadhead. So that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to keep taking away from profit. That's the most important thing: taking away from profit. So and I got to get these grades out too. I gotta get my baby girl get them grades out. Man, I can't have these grades, man. But uh, them grades are from stress. 
transportation got me stressing, man. Golly. <laughs> but I appreciate everybody that's been watching. Let's go ahead and get to the location so we can see how they're going to load up. Watch some serious. <clears throat> Let's get it, man. Uh.